In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on using the stock video footage that's now available in PowerDirector. Many of these stock video packages are free for people who are subscribers of PowerDirector 365 or they're available for purchase if you're not. I'd like to look at how to acquire these files, these packages of files. I'd like to look at how to use them, how to pull them in your program, and their relative value, whether you're a subscriber or not. So what I need to do first of all is obtain the files. The way you do that is use the Application Manager program. I'll click on mine. And here I have the different elements that are part of my application. I'm going to click on the video on the left side and then that will give me a list of the currently available packages of stock video images. I notice that I have downloaded three of the four currently available packages. Let's take the most recent one, the one called Los Angeles, and click on the folder icon on the right side. That will open up and give me a color thumbnail preview of that particular file. And if I look on the left, I see how big it is in megabytes, the title, and the duration. All of these are MP4 files. So if I want to look at the first one, I simply click on it, and it will play the file. I get to see what it looks like from beginning to end. Now, all of the files are video only, no audio, although oddly enough, some of them actually do have an audio track, but it's empty. I'd like to figure out how I can use these in my program. Well, the first thing I need to do if I want one is simply click the download icon. We won't do that now, but then it will pull them in off of the CyberLink website and put them on your computer. The real question is, where are they on my computer? So that's why the file location is very important. I click on the file location next to the colored icon. The screen will open up and it will show me where it is. It's under downloaded video and then I have to keep moving backwards to see where the actual path is. I go back again, another level, another level, and here I figure out where it is. Normally they're stored on your boot drive. That's where your copy of CyberLink is. Under Users, Under Public, Under CyberLink, and then Under Downloaded Video. But you notice, and this is rather odd, each video that's pulled in, even if they're all part of the same package, has its own folder all to itself. So no matter what folder I click on, each one contains only one video, even if they came from the same package. I'm going to close that. But this is important so you can figure out how to pull them in your program. So let's assume we've downloaded this pack, as I have, and we want to use it. How do you do that? Well, change to our PowerDirector screen. And what I'd like to do is pull in a video. I was looking at a way to do it through the drop down here, or maybe through a plugin, or some kind of option in the menu system, and I can't find a way to do that as a shortcut. So, what I can do is I can right click or use the Control Q key, and I say Input Media File. And then I found this is a location I need to go to. Users, Public, CyberLink, Download Video. And I change my icons because now, even though there's only one video file in each folder, it does give me a little bit of a preview as to what that folder contains. So this is a place I would go. I'll pick up another one. Let's, uh, let's take this one here. Click on that. That will only get me into the folder. And then click here. And now I just imported my second video for use. And I can drag it down. And here's an oddity you see where this one has an audio track that's empty. And so does this one. But there's no audio. It's just pure video. 
What I have found would be an interesting way to pull them all in at once, if you want to pick from them in a very easy way, is to right click and do import media folder, not file. And then go to your download video folder and do select folder. That will populate it with every single stock video clip that you have obtained from Cyberlink. It will put them all in at once. And so that's a shortcut on uh, how to pull all of them in so that you can select from them if you want. This is the fastest way I've found to be able to put them in your project. Once they're in, you can treat them like any other video clip. You can crop them, you can modify them, you can put transitions between them. They're no different than anything else. What I actually have done is I have taken the videos that are part of this and copied them to another hard drive where I store my raw video files. So I found that actually more useful than using them from the default location. What do you get in each package? Well, let me describe the most recent one because I think it's typical of what's available. The latest collection of stock video images is about Los Angeles. And when you put them all into the same folder, this is what you get. They're MP4 files, and they vary in length from 13 seconds to 27 seconds. The cost on the website is $39 US. So you're actually paying about $10 per minute for this very short collection. Unfortunately, I think it's more about marketing than it is about actually selling these items. But if you get them for free, they have some value. Let's look and see what you get in that package, for example. We'll close our screen here. I've loaded all of the 12 from the Los Angeles package consecutively into the timeline. And you notice something rather interesting. We're here again, we have two of the video clips that also have an audio track, though it's empty, and the rest of them are completely video. Let's play a few of these clips so you can see the kind of elements that are in the Los Angeles selection. The first one is time lapse. And you see the water moving by and everything else is speeded up. The second one is also a water shot, approximately from the same area. This one is real time. Third one is also water, much different angle, much different look at the water. The fourth one is a evening or morning street scene in LA. Number five, another street scene with traffic, similar time of day, elevated shot over the city. When you look at the traffic on the road, you can tell that this one's time lapse. The one following it is also a time lapse at night. The next one, Time lapse, another street scene, another time lapse in the evening. This one looks like it is also time lapse from the way the trees are moving. Daytime shot. And the next one, it's hard to tell if that's actual time or enhanced time. Night shot. And the last one, definitely a time-lapse shot. I believe Cyberlink is off to a start, but it certainly needs a little bit of polish before it would be a very easy, usable, desirable addition to the Cyberlink family of resources.